a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. <laughs> you flatter me. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. Though I hear you don't partake yourself. It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people Oh, and... Lord Tarwick! What was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate ears anyway. <gasps> My ears are not delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Let alone. Stop it. <laughs> what? I mean it. Someone caught your eye, Mira? I'm sorry, I... I I'm, I'm rather thirsty. Oh, allow me. No, I can get it myself. Thank you. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe them. You told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That is it! Andros, <laughs> you're being ridiculous! <clears throat> oh. Mm. But... And why would you ever stop dealing iron? Mm, is there no longer a demand for them? I can't imagine that would be the case. <sighs> no need for such wild speculation. I've simply lost interest. I'm moving on to better things, as they say. Hmm, and what would that be? <laughs> no, no, no. I can see what you're doing. I'm not giving away my secrets just yet. I heard he was killed. Right here in the garden. Well. Wasn't he Lannister? One of their guard, but still. Surely they found who did it. No, they haven't caught him yet. Not for lack of effort, mind you. I hear they've spared no expense. Let's not repeat too much gossip. <sighs> it seems so calm out there. It is a lot, but I know how to spend it. Mm. But how did you manage it? Lord Whitehill trusts me above all others. That's why I'm the only one he's willing to work with. I'm the oh, only one. Excuse me, talk about how you talk to. Good for you, Andros. It's Andros. Well, I've got my family to consider. When's the last time you even saw your wife, Andros? I really don't know. I was just supposed to find out who I found out, right? Yeah.
sir. Hmm. Interrogate the strawberries. Talk to either one of them? Talk to Murray. I got it. Oh, you know. So he's not a bad guy. That one's a bad guy. Right? Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. <laughs> I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? Right. I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. You must have made quick work of it. If I tell you how I did it, what's in it for me? <laughs> Nothing. But I admire the gall. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me, you must uh, want something. Arguing? Don't tell me you just enjoy my yeah, company. Yeah, yeah. I noticed you and Andros arguing earlier. I'm sorry you had to see that. I told him it was not the time. Daddy and Daddy were fighting. What were you arguing about, if you don't mind my asking? Well, a bold question deserves a bold answer, doesn't it? I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner. Bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud White Hill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place, that man would be nothing without me. Do you know what Lord Andros is planning? He's acquired a large amount of gold, but I haven't the slightest idea what he intends to buy with it. Whatever it is, he's managed to get a Lannister involved. A Lannister? Lyman. He may only be a third Lyman cousin, Lannister. but he's a Lannister all the same. <laughs> Rickard, are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. Oh, leave him alone. Please excuse me. Lord Andros? Mira Forrester. Did you come to poke your nose in my business once again? You have a nasty habit of doing that. You're always so livid, Lord Andros. It can't be good for the Constitution. You think you can mock me? You have no idea what you're up against. Why don't you tell me then? All you need to know is I've got powerful friends, Lady Mira. Tyrion isn't the only Lannister interested in what I have to offer. And if you don't stay out of my way, you'll end up in the Black Shoals with the Imp! Good day, Lady Mira. Mm -hmm. And I'll stand right here, Lady Mira. Okay, then. I'll stand right here. Sarah? Lord Tarwick? Well met, Lady Mira. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Yes, Kevin Spacey. Have you had any luck? Luck? With what? I saw you talking to Lord Andros over there. This place is full of eligible men. I assumed you were on the lookout for a husband. Oh, that isn't really what Mira's interested in. <clears throat> Nonsense. You must have your eye on someone. Oh, don't press her, Garibald. I'm only curious. I was wondering what you could tell me about Lyman Lannister. Lyman? Really, that story is not appropriate for present company. That joke's getting a bit tired, don't you think? I wouldn't want you to think ill of someone you've never met. Oh. Don't be angry. Perhaps later, then. Perhaps another time. I should be going. Stay out of trouble, Mira. Is that a Mass Effect reference? 
I eavesdrop some more. Eavesdropping. Eavesdropping. Oh, I can't remember. I, I think it was a bird. Oh, close. A cock. That's it. <laughs> no. That's cock. Terrible. You're the one telling the joke, remember? Was, the joke so bad it drove you out of so uh, your, boring. <laughs> amazing content, right? <clears throat> Lord Morgren. Lady Mira, I'm sorry, but I really can't talk now. I'm sure you can find other ways to occupy your time. Yeah, sure. Fine. Eavesdrop on. Oh, I can't even eavesdrop on. Oh, no. I can just How talk to them. Those are the only people I can talk to now. Who else? Is there anything else I can. Oh, this camera angle grab this. I already ate. I already had something to drink. I already looked at the view. A musician is fine. I think they're the only people I have left to talk to. Again. Move this Hello again, Lady Mira. We're back. Hi. Goodness, Mira. I didn't expect to see you oh, back so soon. You yeah, know, well, that's not no very nice. To to Please me. excuse me. I gotta go. Oh my god. What the fuck is going keep on? Going down that way. There we go. Oh, here's a guy. What do you do with him? I guess we're gonna talk to him. I didn't see. Is he hammer? I didn't realize I could talk to him. Either. Um, excuse me. <clears throat> Lyman Lannister? <laughs> Shit! You startled me. As if I don't already have enough help, to deal help, with. Help, help. Here, let me help. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Like but I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I just get clumsy sometimes. Before he got all roided out. It's pre-roid um, carrot top. I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Expected Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly. But I'm glad you did. Oh, I liked it. That's fine. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. So, what brings you over here? The weakest Lannister. I'm not mm. the best company, I'm afraid. Or were you headed for the wine and I got in your way? <laughs> you look like you could use some company. Yeah. What are you doing all by yourself? I don't mind, really. I only came to discuss some business with Lord Andros. <laughs> I'm told it's rude to leave early. Oh? What kind of business? There we go. He I, give it to me himself. I yeah. really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. Okay, you understand. He wouldn't be pleased, he I'm sure. If you like, you can whisper it in my ear. I... Well, <laughs> I suppose I could just... Lyman! What do you think you're doing? What? Nothing. You stay away from him. Andros! We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... I didn't realize... Oh. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! Lady ah, Marjorie. Shit! Run! <clears throat> run, run, run! Oh. Make your escape! Fuck, you're fucked. Fuck, you're fucked. We're fucked. Lady Marjorie. Oh, oh Sarah. Thanks, Sarah. Run, run. Cool. She did help you after all. Us. Run. Lady Mira. Yes, Kevin Spacey. <laughs> that was quite a scene over there. Are you all right? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What, what do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Fucking tell Just me. be careful around him. All right? How about we trade? There must be something I can tell you. There is something. I'm curious about Sarah. What? 
Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. No problem. What do you want I'll to know about man. Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. Oh, that's right. Ago. She's lying. She's a flowers. What can you tell me about her family? Something isn't quite right, but I'm not sure. You must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like yes. the way she laughs. I need to know her family, Should her parentage. Her? That is unfortunately the way things are. I really couldn't say, my lord. Oh, the Spare one. me the pretense. You know her as well as anybody. Now tell me the truth. God damn it. What do I do? What do I do? What do Please, I do? Lady Mira. What do I do? She's a bastard. She's a bastard. She asked me not to tell anyone. But Sarah is a bastard. I just betrayed her. Are you she certain? Just stood up for she me was born Sarah Flowers. Her. The Tyrells renamed her. God damn it. I'm such a oh, cunt. incredibly disappointed. Oh, oh she fuck. seems so I thought you would tell refined. Love. I was certain she was born a lady. You can't tell Sarah I told you. Please. No, no, you you have my word. Thank you for being honest with me. It was the least I could do. And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. Jesus Christ, this better pay off. Right. Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes. You mustn't repeat that, he's Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. And every man's entitled to his secrets. Then why did you tell me? Because of... Well, maybe I shouldn't have. What? <laughs> I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. You learned that from Andros? The man's mouth is bigger than the Blackwater. Poor Lyman has no idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, Lord I have some arrangements to undo. Lady Mira? Reapproach him.